Hi guys, uh, today we'll be making caramel slice with the chocolate uh, topping. Um, we have to make a base first and then make um, the filling from caramel using caramel condensed milk and we top it with um, chocolate ganache, dark chocolate ganache. Uh, all we need at the moment is um, 165 grams butter and we need some sugar about uh, third cup or about 90 grams and we'll be needing um, uh, one and two third cups of uh, flour or 220 grams uh, I will put them in a food processor my food processor is a very noisy one and I'll come back to you afterwards Okay, um, it's ready. It's actually like um, a tart base, sweet tart base. It smells really nice. It's only butter, sugar, and flour. And for this one you need a 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter tin which is about um, it's just about nine inches yeah nine inch you place it on the base and press it down. Use my hands, but they're very clean. Okay, that's the best I can do. We distribute it evenly <clears throat> and then um, I preheated the oven to 180 degrees <clears throat> and we will bake it for 15 to 20 minutes uh, at the time the base is baking of course I'll take these clips otherwise they will melt um, I just put it on there because to hold the um, baking paper because it comes um, caves in so okay uh, so 15 to 20 minutes we'll bake it and then we'll make the caramel sauce while this is baking okay all right uh, while the uh, base is baking and make sure you bake it fully because we're not going to put it back in the oven like we use with the uh, quiche or anything like that it's half baked then you add the filling this one has to be fully baked because once we put the filling we had to go in the fridge for three hours so for the filling we need um, one can caramel one can um, caramel um, I use this brand but you can use whatever you like uh, car uh, uh, car uh, caramel condensed milk one full can and we need um, 100 grams butter and two tablespoons of maple syrup okay and we put it on a very low heat so it won't burn 
and uh, you need a really heavy base saucepan for that no matter how low the heat is it might burn on the pot base so um, be careful with that <clears throat> so once the butter is melted and um, has to come to the boil and uh, for five minutes and then will be ready to be poured on top of the baked base or cooked base okay the caramel uh, fudge has been uh, simmering away for five minutes base it's ready so um, we'll get it out and now it's nice and smooth before um, it was very lumpy now it's uh, after it's got some heat it um, all the lumps are gone so it's nice and smooth okay we'll put it aside we'll bring the base It took 50, it took 50, 20 minutes exactly for the base to um, get some color on it. The recipe says 15 to 20, really my oven, it took about 20, exactly 20 minutes. So now we pour it on top. And we let it cool completely here. Then we'll put it in the fridge for three hours for the fudge to sit. Okay, it's still sizzling. <laughs> yeah, so after three hours, we'll get the ganache ready. Actually, the Original recipe says only melted chocolate, but once melted chocolate, it said it will be hardened. I rather use um, chocolate ganache, a dark chocolate ganache, which is I already made it before, and so we let it cool completely on here, on the, on the rack, and then we'll refrigerate it for three hours, and uh, we'll see you soon. Okay, it's been about three hours. Uh, the fudge has three hours since uh, I put it in the fridge and the fudge is set and our chocolate ganache is ready and we pour it on top decorate it the way you like I will only sprinkle some um, salted caramel bites on top to break that sweetness of the caramel you got the dark chocolate as well it will break that sweetness and the salted caramel will give a nice flavor if you like you can melt some white chocolate and drizzle on top then with the toothpick you just uh, make um, um, lines and uh, create some um, patterns okay that will do we we'll put it back in the fridge again for the chocolate to sit then we will cut it into squares and um, we'll be ready to be served it's a yummy um, recipe again I like simple um, um, simple recipes with not that many ingredients but they're delicious at the same time so I hope you try it at home and let us know how it, um, it turned out and if you like you can attach the photos so um, happy baking and um, bon appetit
Thank you for watching. Merci à tous. Thank you. Bye.